my pre orchestra cellos. I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, I'm curious, I wish I could hear from you uh, about what's going on with you, but I hope you're able to practice and that you're not going too crazy. I know that we're probably, we're not going back to school for the rest of the year, so that's been really sad for me and I miss you guys and I'm really hopeful that we'll be able to see each other this summer still. So that's fingers crossed. Anyway, um, so we've done a lot of our twinkle rhythms. Last week we really focused on I don't rest much. Um, I hope that you are looking at those videos. I noticed there weren't quite as many views on those videos. So I, I definitely expect you to be practicing and you need to continue even if you don't feel like you're a hundred percent in it. I understand we're all kind of in a weird place right now, but you, you have to do it. That's really the most important thing. Even if you don't feel a hundred percent, even if you just feel 50%, um, you know, or you don't feel like you're sounding that great, keep trying, go back to the first few videos and really think about your bow technique and all those um, little details that we've talked about in our classes. They're not, you haven't lost them. Um, Okay, so this week I'd like to focus on two of our shorter pieces. So I'm gonna make two more videos. Um, today we're gonna do um, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, so I'm gonna take you through that. And then the next video is gonna be Dizzle Dazzle, if you remember that. And if you don't, we'll, we'll review it together, okay? So um, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Now, the first thing I wanna do, I'm assuming that right now you've already warmed up, you've practiced some, this, is just a video now after you've practiced and warmed up, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do with Mary Had a Little Lamb is we're gonna sing it in our head because we have to hear it in our ears, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it for you once, actually. I'm gonna play all of it just with my bow. And I want you to just listen. I want you to think about it. Um, see your fingers in your head. Close your eyes if you need to. Sing it out loud with me, whatever you need to, okay? One, two, three, four. Uh -huh. sections, but let's just go ahead, I think, and start by pizzicatoing Mary Had a Little Lamb. Now, a couple things to think about. Definitely start with all four fingers down, okay? So we have a beautiful left hand position, okay? Are you there? Is your pinky long and straight? Are your hands or your fingers curved? We have a super high tunnel. Now, I don't want to see this at all, right? We're not leaning back. Our hands are nice and balanced, no matter if, if we're using our pinky or not, which we're not using our pinky, okay? So now that we're ready for that, we get our nice, beautiful pizzicato hand. One, two, three, four. May, hover, hold and lift, hold and place. Second half. So if you need to right now, what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video and I want you to practice it pizzicato until you feel really confident. Now remember, it's not just about hitting the notes, it's about playing the notes correctly. This is your opportunity to focus only on your left hand with beautiful knuckles, okay? I'm thinking about every single one of you right now in my head and I'm thinking about the things that you each need to focus on, okay? Um, Kaylee, don't be tight with your left hands. And as you really clasp down, make sure you keep that beautiful position, right? Same thing goes for you, Jacqueline. You know, I know you do that sometimes too. And make sure your pinky's really straight. Uh, let me think. Um, Cynthia and Sophia. 
you guys should all think a little bit about making sure your hand is really nice and square and that you're not leaning back like you do. You can keep a nice space under your first finger, uh, which will really help you. Sarah and Isla, you can both lift your knuckles much more, right? Imagine that my fingers are going under your knuckles to create a super high arch. And let's see, I think I've just left out Josue and Nancy. Now, Josue, oh, you have a beautiful hand position, but you could always be looser, right? And just make sure your shoulders are square. And Nancy, just make sure you're keeping your hands square. I know we sometimes do push your first finger back. You don't wanna do that, okay? You all, I'm thinking about every single one of you, and I know your tendencies, and I know that you know them too, okay? So I'm done with my little rant. Uh, pause the video and really practice right now, okay? Okay, so we finished practicing that part. Now it's time to work on our bow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna practice my bow, open string, but I'm gonna think about Mary Had a Little Lamb Melody in my head. So you can even sing it out loud if you need to. You wanna try it with me? Let's, we all have our perfect bow hold. My thumb is really soft. I'm gonna lift my wrist. I'm gonna place my bow here. Now remember, our bow is a little bit slower than our Mississippi stop stops, okay? It's more like slow and stop. Okay, so we're just going a little bit more steady and slow with our bow now. Let's do this. Lift your wrist, place your bow on the D string, and we're gonna play the first half of Mary Had a Little Lamb with open string. Okay, one, two, three, four. Mary had a little stop and stop. Little stop and stop. Little stop and stop. That was the first half. And if you were correct, you would have ended in the middle-ish of your bow. Lift your bow and put that down. Okay, now if you want to, you can pause the video and you can practice that all by yourself. Okay, so you did that, you practiced that. Maybe you didn't need to, okay, no problem. Let's do the second half. So this is where I think you should just get your bow ready. Now we ended our bow in the middle, which means we need to start in the middle. So place your bow in the middle. Make sure your shoulders are square. I, I'm enjoying playing in front of this, um, this computer screen right here because I can really see myself right now. And I can see if my shoulders are getting tight or my hand is looking really quite uncomfortable. Uh, so that's a good thing. All right, you guys, now we're gonna do the second half, okay? So this is Mary Had a Little Lamb, second half. One, two, three, four. shoulder? Did you stop with a loose hand position? Did you stop with a heavy elbow? All of those things, did you do them? Ask yourself. Okay, very good. So if you need to, you can practice the second half of that right now. If you want to pause the video. Okay, I'd like to do one more thing before we put our bow with our fingers. And I'd like you to play all of open string twinkle I'd like you to play, uh, excuse me. I'd like you to play all of open string, um, Mary Had a Little Lamb while I'm playing it. Okay, so I'm gonna use my fingers and you're gonna play open string. Are you ready? Let's get ready. Our beautiful shoulders, place your beautiful hand. Now remember, you're gonna play open D and I'm gonna play the melody, okay? Try to match my bow. If you need to rewind it, do it as many times as you need to. One, two, open, D.
now it's time to put everything together. All right. So if you had problems pizzicatoing, you need to focus on that. If you had problems organizing your bow and getting your sound beautiful on open D, every note should sound the same, then you're not ready to go on. Okay, these are the steps. And if you haven't mastered them, or if you haven't gotten really awesome at each step, you are not ready to take another step. All right. Think about a little baby. Okay, if a baby's falling all the time when they're walking, they're certainly not going to start running. Okay, they're going to wait until they're really confident running to go a little faster. And we need to think the same way when we play the cello. All right, but I think we're definitely ready for this. You guys know this. Um, most of this was just a review for you. Okay, let's start with the first half. Okay, my bow is here. So I'm going to get my bow always first. Then I'm going to square my shoulders. Okay, I'm looking. My fingers are so light. My thumb is really light. I have a beautiful high K in my bow arm. All of these things which make a beautiful sound. Okay, so I'm ready here now. And now I'm going to get, you don't have to do this anymore. I'm going to get my left hand. I'm going to make sure that's beautifully, um, all four fingers are balanced. Okay, and then I'm going to hover my pinky, but I'm going to say exactly balanced. Okay, and now if you want to, let's play the first half together. One, two, three, four. Nine. So I just made a mistake. That's okay. I think let's do that because of my mistake. Let's do that again so I can keep remembering. I was actually thinking, I got distracted because I was thinking of another exercise we can try. But uh, let's go ahead and do just the first half again for my mistake. Let's get set up one more time. Left hand, all four fingers down. Look to get up sharp. One, two, to go ahead and stop the video right now and just practice the first half, half, okay? Make sure everything is perfectly checked off. You can pause the video now, okay? All right, let's go and now practice the second half of the video. Now, you remember the second half of the video, it starts up bow. We ended the first half in the middle, which means we need to start the, first, the second half in the middle. So go ahead and place your bow in the middle, okay? And now get all four fingers down again lift, to get your F sharp, okay? And we're going to start the second half. So really think about the second half of Mary Had a Little Lamb. One, two, three, four. <laughs> down in the string, lift to get your F sharp, and we'll play the whole thing without stopping. One, two, three, four. Uh. Stop. 
do? Does your, does your right hand, is it loose? Does your left hand hover beautifully? Ask yourself those questions. If it wasn't, you need to go back and fix it, okay? You need to work until you get it. All right, you guys, um, I think you did a great job. I hope you did a great job. Um, come back to this video a couple times if you need to, but I definitely want you to be looking at these videos every single week, okay? And you should at least going over them once or twice, okay? And then you should circle back if you need to review something, okay? So take some notes, write it down, and uh, practice a lot. All right, you guys, I will see you later. Bye.